Hail, most royal sir. What is the news of the court? None rare, my lord. The king hath on him such a countenance as he had lost some province, and a region loved as he loved himself. Even now I met him with customary compliment when he, wafting his eyes to the contrary and falling a lip of much contempt, speeds from me and so leaves me to consider what is breeding that changeth thus his manners. I dare not know, my lord. How? Dare not? Do not? Do you know and dare not? Be intelligent to me, tis thereabouts. For to yourself what you do know you must, and cannot say you dare not. Good Camillo, your changed complexions are to me a mirror which shows me mine changed too. For I must be a party in this alteration, finding myself thus altered with. Uh, there is a sickness which puts some of us in distemper, but I cannot name the disease, and it is caught of you that yet are well. How caught of me? Make me not sighted like the basilisk. I have looked on thousands who have sped the better by my regard, but killed none so. Camillo, as you are certainly a gentleman, thereto clerk-like experienced, which no less adorns our gentry than our parents' noble names, in whose success we are gentle, I beseech you, if you know aught that does behoove my knowledge thereof to be informed, imprison it not in ignorant concealment. I may not answer. A sickness caught of me, and yet I will. I must be answered. Dost thou hear, Camillo? I conjure thee by all the parts of man that honor does acknowledge, whereof the least is not this suit of mine, that thou declare what incidency thou dost guess of harm is creeping toward me. How far off, how near, which way to be prevented, if to be? If not, how best to bear it? Sir, I will tell you, since I am charged in honor and by him that I think honorable. Therefore mark my counsel, which must be even as swiftly followed as I mean to utter it, or both yourself and me cry lost, and so good night. On, good Camillo. I am appointed to murder you. By whom, Camilla? By the king. For what? He thinks, nay, with all confidence, he swears, as he had seen or been an instrument to vice you to it, that you have touched his queen forbiddenly. Oh, oh. Then my best blood turned to an infected jelly, and my name be yoked with his that did betray the best. Turn then my freshest reputation to a savor that might infect the dullest nostril where I arrive, and my approach be shunned. Nay, hated, too, worse than the greatest infection that e'er was heard or read. How should this grow? I know not, but I am sure it is safer to avoid what's grown than question how tis born. If therefore you dare trust my honesty that lies enclosed in this trunk which you shall bear along and pawned away tonight. I do believe thee. I saw his heart in his face. Give me thy hand. Be pilot to me, and thy places still shall neighbor mine. My ships are ready, and my people did expect my hence departure two days ago. Oh, this jealousy is for a precious creature. As she's rare, must it be great. And as his person's mighty, must it be violent. And as he does conceive, he is dishonored by a man which ever professed to him. Why, then his revenges must in that be made more bitter. Fear where shades me. Good expedition be my friend and comfort the gracious queen, part of his theme, but nothing of his ill tanned suspicion. Come, Camilla, I will respect thee as a father if thou bearest my life off hence. Let us avoid him. 